Hey, it's Beauty Block time where we talk all things fashion and beauty. And while this trend is obviously not new, baking is still very much a thing. But not everyone knows how to do it, self included. I just try every day, probably failing. <laughs> but we're going to show you guys how to do it. And we have some professional help here. We have Andrea Sarmiento here. Well, thank, thank you, you for so having much. Me and we have here. our lovely model, Natalie. Yes, it's we like do. a resident Beauty Block model. <laughs> <laughs> Always helping us out. She's so, so beautiful. Yes. Well, let's talk about baking and how it started because we see it on celebs everywhere. It's on all the Kardashians. Every celeb on the red carpet is doing it. So it didn't just start with them though, right? No, no. The baking is one of the biggest trends right now. And it, it started way back with uh, um, the theater industry and the dance industry. Everyone wanted to set that makeup, especially if you're going to be on TV or you're going to be on stage. This is the perfect way or the perfect technique to set your makeup. Um, so yeah, it's been and since uh, Kim Kardashian makeup artist yeah. brought it out, now, now it's, it's a thing. Out. Yeah, it's yeah. a thing. So baking is really, really an amazing technique just to kind of set your makeup. And it's like five simple steps, it's right? It's five, um, like not even four simple steps. Yeah. But making sure that you have the right products and making sure that you're doing it the right way, it's the most important part of this. So, so the first step is what? Uh, first step, she, my model, she already has foundation. So we're going to go ahead and do the concealer. Okay, so concealer her, second. Um, second would be, yeah, first it would be foundation, second would be highlighting and, and contouring, which I do I do it with the concealer. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna do um, right underneath her eyes. I'm gonna She's apply. such a pro, she's already looking up. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I do it in a triangle way. So okay. I kind of make a nice So like triangle, right under the eye right and right under above the, the cheekbone. Eye. Exactly, okay. and you wanna kind of stay right on, on the sides of her nose. Um, I'm gonna put it right here. And your concealer, when you highlight, you wanna go one shade to two shades lighter okay. than your normal um, concealer. So I guess it just depends on how foundation. dramatic you want exactly. it to be, right? Exactly, if you wanna be making selfies every day and you wanna, <laughs> so you wanna kinda go a Natalie's little bit like, lighter. Yeah, selfies. <laughs> I use a sponge, um, I love these little sponges. Make sure you wet them to, it's not completely wet, but just- Yeah, you don't want it soaking, just soaking, damp. Soaking, just damp. Um, it works perfectly, cause it grabs everything. And it um, blends it really And it well. blends really well. And if you really don't well. have a sponge, you can use your fingertips, you right? Can, and just dab in the there. You can, because the warmth of your, of your fingers would definitely make do the, the magic too. But do not swipe. Like this is not um, Tinder. You can't nope, swipe left nope, and right. Not okay. at all. Um, so I normally do that. I highlight also um, underneath her chin, like right on her chin, okay. a little bit on top of her lip. Um, and I go right in the middle of her that nose. That is my favorite thing, um, like right down the bridge. Oh my everything. gosh, it is the best. Um, and then I'm gonna contour, so I'm gonna, I know we don't. So what shade do you use for contour? Is it the same thing, like two, one two, to two shades darker? You or? wanna go two to three shades. Okay. And, and like you could see, you could really see the dark tone yeah. on, her, on, on her. So it should be a bit of a contrast. You, you definitely wanna go um, two to three shades. Um, darker than your um, regular foundation. Okay. In the same way, you're gonna apply it and you're gonna dab it with a sponge just to kind of uh, blend it in. Now, if you don't have a sponge for this one, you don't want to use your fingertips um, for this. No, not for contouring. You want to use a brush. Okay. So I also have a, a little brush. Which I, and people I underestimate brushes. We talked about this before. Brushes can really do a lot. The bristles of your brush makes um, your your whole look and your. Um, if the bristles are not, you know, made out of like boar's hair or anything that it really works with your um, makeup, it's not going to give you that effect. So basically what contouring and highlighting is, is highlighting is the parts that you want to accentuate on your face. Correct. Contouring is going to provide a shadow to kind of slim things so, down. Right. Correct. Awesome. Um, and remember, makeup, it's an illusion. So that's what we're creating right now. Yes. Just kind and of I'm an creating. illusion artiste, okay? I'm all about the baking, so you make it. So that's good. So um, the baking, this is where the baking starts. I, um, You want to apply translucent powder. Make sure it's not um, just regular powder or mineral powder with any That can be color. a big mistake. It's the biggest mistake that everyone does. So you want to go right underneath. And just kind of smush just, that in. Right. You want to, and you want to be pretty generous with the amount of uh, translucent powder that you want to apply in those areas. So I normally apply right underneath her eyes. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna apply as well right. All the places the we highlight. Wherever we highlight, not. Okay. And the only area that we're gonna also bake 
where we contour, it's right underneath the line where you contour. Okay. It kind of gives you that perfect edge of the um, So you get like a line. really precise oh, contour. You do. you do have it. So you want to- She's got good cheekbone anyway. I know. So green. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very messy. Um, so what I normally do when I bake, I do my foundation. I do all these steps first and I leave my eyes for later. So while I'm baking, I'm ah, doing okay. my eyes. And that's good so too, because if you put on eyeshadow, it'll fall on the powder you that you've already put on and you can dust, dust it, it off. off. Mm -hmm. I watch YouTube a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We've got more coming up though. She's gonna stay with us and we're gonna see the results towards the end of the show, but more on Studio D, the new Twitter feature that's looking to lure in small businesses and engage and cater to their customers. Plus, the controversial Dance Mom star facing jail time. Find out the charges and what this could mean for the reality TV favorite next.